Hello Prepsters, this is me Anjali and welcome back to Prep Insta. How much time is enough to prepare for your placement is one of the most asked question among fresher. Well, there is no definite answer for this question because as soon as you will enter in your fourth year, there are a lot of company that will start their hiring. But there are also a lot of good companies that will hire in the middle or end of the fourth year. So if you are preparing throughout the year, then it's good. But if you haven't started your preparation yet, don't worry. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to prepare for your placement in three months. Yes, you heard it right. In this video, we will be discussing about a three months placement preparation strategy. So first we will be discussing about the different rounds during placement. Yeah. So there are a lot of companies and all the companies are broadly classified into two categories, service and product based. Now, the recruitment for service and product based companies are different from each other. But in this video, we have come up with a common path that you need to follow for both service as well as product based company. So first, let's discuss about how much rounds. Then we will discuss in depth about all the rounds individually. So the first round is resume shortlisting. Next is online aptitude round plus technical MCQ round. The third one is online coding round followed by technical interview, techno managerial interview and HR round also named as case study or fit round. So these are the all rounds that is commonly asked in product as well as service based company. Now, if you're focusing on service based company, these rounds are enough for you to clear your placement. But if you are preparing for product based company or a higher package company, then there are few additional things that you should know that we will discuss in the end. Now, moving on to the next slide, that is the first round of the placement is resume shortlisting. So, resume plays a very important role in your placement. Now, on the screen, you can see two sample resume. One is good and another one is bad. Now, how will I know that my resume is good or bad? Let's understand this with one example. Suppose you are applying in Amazon, Microsoft and you're not getting any reward. Now, what you will think that maybe the link is fake or the drive is not happening and so on. But here is the thing that your resume is not getting shortlist for that profile. Now, you can see the good resume template that there are links of the project. The projects are explained in detail. And whereas you can see in the back that there is no link in the resume. So all these minimum things plays a very important role in resume shortlisting. Now you have to understand this in very simple. No one is going to see your resume manually. There are many softwares. Your resume will go through those softwares and then only get shortlisted. For those, you need to make a very good resume. We have a complete dedicated video for how to create a good resume. Do check out and then move to the next round. Now, what I will suggest is that if you are making your resume, make it in the end. First, learn the, all the skills, all the projects, all the certificates, everything so that you know what you are going to enter in your resume and what you are not going to enter in your resume. So this is the first round, but I will suggest you to make your resume in the end. First, prepare everything and then write it down. Now, moving on to the next slide that is about online aptitude test. Yes. For many company, it is the first round also because in that company, there is no resume shortlisting round, but in many company, it is considered as the second round. So online aptitude test consists of quants, logical, verbal, data interpretation, visual reasoning and game based aptitude. Now in many companies, there is one more round added that is essay writing. Yes, essay writing is also now a common round that is included in the basic aptitude test. So a lot of students skips this round because they think that I will prepare coding, I will prepare DSA and so on and I'll be able to get a high paying job. But you'll have to understand that coding and technical round is the second round. To reach that round, first you'll have to clear the first round. So you can't skip this round. Generally, this round is of 100 minutes and the question 
is between 60 to 65 question in all the placement. So you will have only 15 to 20 days to learn this whole section because here what you'll have to do is first you'll have to go through the theory and then you'll have to practice. Practice as much as you can because in these rounds theory is not going to help you that much and ultimately you will have to solve the questions and then only you will be able to understand this section. Now we will understand about these all sections in detail. So moving on to the next slide that is a detailed of aptitude, logical, verbal and other important sections of online aptitude test. So first you can see I have provided seven to eight topics in each section that is coins, logical, verbal. Although there are 16 to 20 topics in each section, but you'll have to understand first thing that you are preparing only in three months. So you can't cover all the 16, 20 topics ultimately. So you will have to shortlist topics and you will have to cover main important topics only. So according to my analysis, these all are the important topics that comes in any company recruitment process. So if you are able to complete all these topics within 15 to 20 days, it's then you are good to go for the another round. If not, then you'll have to practice hard. Now on the other important section, there is data interpretation, visual reasoning and game based aptitude. So this whole you will have to give only 15 to 20 days. Got it? Now, uh, moving on to the next slide, we will be discussing about technical MCQ round. Okay? So, yeah, this is the online technical test or technical MCQ round. Okay. So, as I can understand, if you are in the final year and you are preparing for your placement in just three months, then I can assume that you know any of a language that is C, C++, Java or Python. So, and if you don't know any of the language, then I'll personally suggest you to go for either C, C++ or Python rather than Java because Java is a very vast language and it's not possible for you to understand and learn complete Java in 15 days. It's quite hard to learn C, C++, Python in 15 days too, but you can do that. So here I'll be giving one month for this whole technical test. And if you already know one language, then 15 days is enough. Two to three days per subject. These all that is OOPS, Operating System, DBMS and SQL are theory subjects and technical MCQ round. All the questions will be based mostly from these four topics. And before learning these topics, make sure that you know any one of a coding language properly. So here I'm giving one month in total because if you are not having a knowledge of any of individual language, then first 15 days is to learn any individual language. And then in the rest 15 days, just give two to three days to each subject and cover it, right? So in total 15 days for the theory part and 15 days to learn the coding part, right? So this was all about the online technical test, 15 days for any language and 15 days to learn the theory subject. Okay, now we will be discussing about the third round that is online coding test. Yes, coding means terror, right? So you must be thinking that how you are going to prepare for coding in just two months along with the DSA, right? Don't worry. In Prep Insta, we have provided all the courses, video lectures, practice questions for your ease. We have bifurcated the coding into basic, intermediate and competitive so that you can understand coding from basics to pro. Got it? So first you will have to understand that what company you are focusing so you will know that what kind of coding you need to learn. First, if you are focusing on a 6 LPA package or you are focusing on uh, like normal service based company, then intermediate coding and top 100 code. This is enough for your placement preparation, right? So, uh, and DSA, yes. If you are preparing for your placements for a 6 LPA package or a service based company, then basics of DSA is enough for your placement preparation. Now, a lot of students also ask that in which language DSA should be preferred. So, you can opt for any language, but the preferable language is C++ or Java because of the availability of resources. If you learn DSA in other language that is C and Python, it will be quite difficult because of there are no 
such resources in these language the layer limitations but if you are opting c++ or java to learn dsa then there will be enough material for you so if you are going to focus for the normal company package then i have already told you intermediate coding and top 100 codes along with dsa basics that's it but if you are preparing for product based company or company with having more than 10 plus lpa then you need to learn the advance of dsa and competitive coding yes so depending upon the package i have told you you'll have to learn now you will have to give your two months completely to dsa along with coding practice yes now you have to understand that you have only three months with you you can't give 15 days completely to aptitude 15 days completely to learn uh, any of the language and 15 days completely to learn any another like theory subject and two months completely it's obviously not going to come in three months so what you'll have to do is you will have to plan this if you are learning aptitude then along with learn c plus plus java python any language if you know the language already then make sure that you are learning the theory subjects along with practicing aptitude basics right because you have only three months and you have a limited time period so you'll have to think that what are the things that i can learn simultaneously and i can utilize my time if you're going to give one month completely to the technical mcq round one month completely to aptitude then obviously the three months plan strategy will not work for you so Divide your time accordingly, learn parallelly and simultaneously. So uh, after the online coding test, the next round is interview. Yes. As I have earlier told that the fourth round is interview and interview is bifurcated into three rounds. That is technical, HR and techno managerial round. Now in technical interview, you will be asked questions based on your technical knowledge. So whatever you have studied earlier now, this will play important role here in your technical interview. In technical interview, you will be asked questions on OOPS, Java, Python, and any of the preferred language. They will also ask you to code in front of them. So whatever you have studied earlier will also help you in clearing your technical interview. Now, after the technical interview, you will have to give the HR interview. Right. So HR interview is not about your technical knowledge. HR interview is all about your team leadership, your personality, your behavior, your communication and etc. Now, one thing that you also know in technical interview is that your project, whatever project you have done, make sure that you have a thorough knowledge of that project because whatever you are going to show to interviewer, they will definitely going to ask you question on that because you are showing them that you have done this. So obviously they will give more focus on that rather than the things that you have only learned. Okay, so projects you need to go it through thorough and for HR you need to have few soft skills. I will discuss about those soft skills later on but along with these rounds there is one more round that is techno managerial round. Techno managerial round is included in only those companies which have a high paying package or product based company. Now to clear the techno managerial round what you need to have is a proper knowledge of DSA. Yes, the DSA which you have learned during the online coding test round will play a very important role in the techno managerial round. As you can see the screenshot, we have dedicated page for technical interview and HR interview. We have link of all the things that I have discussed earlier. So make sure that after going through this video, you are going through all the links that I have given for your placement preparation and all the links are free resources. So make sure you are going through that. So these are the top 60 and top 100 technical or HR questions that is asked during the interview. So moving on to the last part that is additional requirement. Yes, if you remember in the initial I have talked that if you are focusing on a high packet job or a product based company, then you need to have few additional requirements. In this slide, we are going to talk about those additional requirements, right? So the first one here is technical skills and another one here is soft skill. Soft skill is required for both. Either you are focusing on a high paying jo job or an average paying job, right? But if you are focusing on high paying job, then technical skills play a very important role. Now, if you remember, this video is about a three months placement preparation strategy. In three months, it's quite hard to manage 14 days to learn a new skill. 
right so in this video i'll not be discussing more about the additional requirement i'll just give a brief because 14 days managing 14 days is quite tough so i will be making another video of a placement preparation strategy in 6 months so in that 6 month i'll be going to discuss in detail about all these skills so on the screen you can see the few common trending new skills that is artificial intelligence machine learning power bi cyber security cloud computing and ethical hacking these are few common trending skills that if you are having then it's very good and it's a plus point for you in 14 days i have already told you that it's going to hard to learn a new skill end to end so what you are going to do first you will have to pick any one of the skill let's say you are picking artificial intelligence first to learn okay so in 14 days what you will do is you will go through all the videos you will go through all the theory part and everything because and in skills it's not only that you will learn theory and you will learn the how the basics work you will have to practice those if you will not practice those you don't know how to exactly use those skills so in 14 days what you can do is you can go through the all the theory parts all the learning part and you can do a basic practice so if the interviewer will ask you any question regarding these skills you at least know okay right so instead of going blank in front of interviewer i will suggest you to take out your 14 day and learn any of a new skill at least have a brief of any new skill right the next one is the soft skill only 3 to 4 days is required for your soft skill one day for resume preparation and the rest 2 to 3 days for the other soft skill now group discussion is also one of the very much important round in recruitment okay so we have a complete dedicated video on group discussion that how you need to stand how you need to say how you need to put your points in group discussion make sure you're going through that video as well for a better understanding and apart from that you, what you need to know is interview etiquette like how you are going to talk to your interviewer how you are going to discuss or how you are going to put your points in front of interviewer so all these things you need to keep in your mind along with that there are puzzle questions in hr and there are as i have already told you communication plays a very much important so for these you just need 2 to 3 days so this was all about a 3 months preparation plan strategy the time i have divide it you can take screenshot of each slide so that you know what you are going to prepare and when you can also take the screenshot of those points logical verbal topics so that you know what you need to go through first and what you need to go in the end right so after all this the main thing is that you will have to manage your time if you are going to give one month to coding then you are not going to give one month completely to coding along with that you will have to learn aptitude and everything so this was a three months placement preparation strategy and i hope you like the video if you like the video do like share and subscribe and also if you want more such content comment down below we will make sure that we are going to make videos on those topic as well thank you